Daisy Jones and the Six delivered the perfect ending full of twists and reveals that focused as much on the band's dismantling, the Six's ending proved satisfying, not only because it provided the most detailed explanation of everything that led to the Chicago debacle, but also for how it seamlessly concluded Billy and Daisy's stories. Daisy Jones and the Six's ending proved Simone is Daisy's family. Daisy and Simone didn't first cross paths until one of the Daisy Jones and the Six books on Amazon, but the rock drama's season one conclusion depicted Simone as Daisy's only family, particularly after the dissolution of her Daisy Jones and the Six family. The Daisy Jones and the Six season one finale solidified Simone's position as Daisy's advocate, thanks to Daisy's invitation to Simone to perform with the band at the Chicago Stadium and Simone's suggestions that Daisy perhaps shouldn't subject herself to the suffering of spending time with Billy without being able to be with him. At the conclusion of Daisy Jones and the Six, Simone and Daisy's connection was stronger than ever. That it was Simone's offer to get Daisy to rehab without anybody knowing that Daisy accepted was the cherry on top, considering how Reed's Daisy Jones and the Six had Billy and Daisy discuss rehab. Despite the ups and downs of their friendship, Simone proved reliable for Daisy time and time again. Daisy Jones and the Six's ending revealed what Eddie really wanted, since Daisy Jones and the Six episode 2, Eddie's displeasure with Billy's leadership of the Dunn brothers first and the Six, subsequently was evident. Eddie was defensive about accepting all of Billy's authoritarian changes because he was a team player, but his conversation with Warren and his confrontation with Billy in the Daisy Jones and the Six season one finale clearly showed that he never really was one. In fact, Eddie was always interested in gaining attention, whether or not doing so would help the Six. Unlike true team players like Warren, Karen, or Graham, Eddie never considered what would have benefited the Six first and him second. His choosing to confront Billy despite seeing him in such a precarious state of mind and even putting salt on his wound by hinting at his night with Camilla fully confirmed that he could have never stayed longer in Billy's shadow, even if Daisy Jones and the Six hadn't broken up. Eddie's inability to see a reason if he thought he had been scorned was proved to be his fatal flaw in Daisy Jones and the Six episode 10 because his bands were never as successful as the Six. Daisy Jones and the Six's ending showed only Camila gets Billy and Daisy. At the time, neither Billy nor Camila nor Daisy were aware of Billy's affections for Daisy. The Daisy Jones and the Six season one finale, however, demonstrated that Camila finally had the same amount of faith in Billy as she had in Daisy, even though she was aware that Billy was falling for Daisy. Daisy Jones and the Six, Episode 6 Instead of confronting Daisy about the kiss, Camila was upset with them because they couldn't understand how similarly they behaved. Camila always recognized how similar Daisy and Camila were, as evidenced by their final conversation in the Daisy Jones and the Six season one finale. Graham and Karen finally broke up in Daisy Jones and the Six's ending, although Graham and Karen's split was explicitly hinted to in Daisy Jones and the Six episode 10 it had been anticipated since they first started dating. Despite Graham's statement of love at the conclusion of the Chicago performance, Karen's wishes had previously been disregarded by Graham, as seen by his scathing response upon finding she had carried out her abortion on her own. In fact, he not only didn't tell her outright that he wanted to have children, but he also demonstrated that he first considered how a particular action would affect him, before considering what it would imply for Karen. Graham was the one that wanted to make their relationship public. While he eventually understood Karen's perspective, his first thought was to his wishes, and Karen had to carefully explain her point of view and make sure he would have completely understood it for him to consider it valid. Daisy saved Billy by letting him go to Camila, although doing the reverse could have meant that she could have gotten him in the Daisy Jones and the Six Season 1 finale, Daisy sending Billy back to the hotel to meet Camila effectively rescued him. Billy finally fell off the wagon due to his inability to deal with what was occurring in the band and with his marriage, but Daisy put a stop to it, even though he seemed to embrace his fate by pursuing a connection with her and telling her they could just be broken together. Daisy's actions may have been motivated by her love for Billy, but another factor was what Billy's sobriety meant to her as well. Although Billy and Daisy had similar pasts, Billy has always stood for sobriety for Daisy. He sincerely offered Daisy support, 
and he was also the reason why she was able to continue with the SNL show without her medicines, even though he frequently struggled to endure seeing Daisy at her worst. Billy's resumption of alcohol and drug use would have meant that the person who believed in her also stopped attempting to improve, and Daisy would have never been able to accept that hopelessness, given that in the Daisy Jones and the Six Season 1 finale, she was actually making a genuine effort to find a way to beat her addiction. Daisy Jones and the Six not only embodied Reed's book's core message, but also made the story even more special, refusing to make one love less important than the other.